part three. You know what? I need to get this on my chest. The, the reason I'm having more stories is because I'm recording this in vertical mode. Because the file would be much um, faster to upload. I don't know why. I guess because it's less frames. But, you know, I had to just think about the whatever. So I, I just, I'm crying a little. I'm just, why are boys like this? You know, like, I don't want to be to the point like, I, I'm, I'm terrified of talking to a boy and whatnot, and him beating me up or forcing you to have sex. You know, I, I, I just get bad pass because, literally, I don't know. Like boys are so scary. They are. I mean, especially how they want to like flush the damn ding dongs and tell me I'm gonna fuck you. Or, so it makes me makes me breathe really heavily when boys say that. So it, it's a, a couple flashbacks I had in the past. You know, oh, I'm gonna have this. Police, get knocked the, knock down, not no. Oh, I'm trying to say like the way that I. Oh. Can I have a moment, please? Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. I need like thirty seconds. The reason why I had to share this is because when you haven't experienced cyberbullying and people lying about you just to take advantage of you for being really kind, it's a really scary experience. And the reason why I did that little example on the door is because I had been docked twice by police that basically wanted to take me to a mental hospital and they were not kind. You know, I'm, I'm just thank Buddha that they didn't arrest me like a criminal, but they did treat me like a mental criminal, right? Because of my mental illness, they just treat me like I'm just a, a nasty person that basically stolen, stolen like $1,000 from a Soka K or something. Um, the thing is, you know, besides what D did, I'm, I, it's going to take me quite some time to move on from what he did. You know, like... I just don't understand why someone could go that low to life brother age and forget about it and tell me that I, I, like yeah you don't have any friends you've been you've been you know mistreated yeah I have because people like you took advantage of me and yet again you had to yell at my face and tell me that I should just you know get over it he scared me you know like he's really scary he is and he even told me that I don't know why boy is taking me you know, just because you're really tall does not make you more of a of a boy yourself. You know, they can pick on someone that's smaller than you or mentally um, damaged or something. It's hard to explain it. The thing is, for me personally, if you don't know about me, okay, I used to do like reactions of like a cartoon called The Laugh Hall, so whatever. And other cartoon reactions like Teen Titans Go or something. And I, and I used to do like little diary talks. Well, my mom sometimes in our old house, you know, just some random stuff. The thing is, I remember I used to do like cartoon like reactions like that because people or my younger viewers thought they enjoyed it. And then it's gotten so bad they would like harass me to actually do more or they would unsubscribe and, you know, they didn't care about my mental health. And then as soon as I would get my meltdowns, they would like record my live streams and whatnot because I just had some awful like remarks or racist remarks by accident because I had gotten racist remarks myself and people would actually would call me a clown and call me a monkey and it's just really bad right and I even had a couple of people that would literally put up our home address I mean that should be illegal because um, I don't know what it's called. Like, you cannot put someone's private information online. Like, your their address. Like, that's against the law. And I didn't know it was. And a lot of people did this, you know, for, um, to us. I don't even know how they got my mother and brother's work address. I don't even know how. They must have been hackers or something. It really scared me because I'm afraid, like, something's going to happen to our family when they've done this. But the thing is, for me personally... I would get harassed by a lot of people online. And I even got blamed by someone's suicide when it was just... It was just a setup. This to get me arrested or something. You know, basically it was a boy named Daniel that donated the Nintendo Switch. Oh my goodness, I miss him. 
Um, I liked him as well. I forgot, I think he was like 19 or 20 or something, right? Um, or 21. I don't remember how old he was. He, he's somewhere around that age. But the thing is that, um, you know, he actually would support me and drop my channel and he would talk to me, whatever. Even on, on an app called Kick, which I basically deleted eons ago. And people would actually think that I murdered him or something and that I should have the authorities called on me. It scared me so much because uh, as much as I've been doxxed twice, it triggers me. Like, my life is going to be over because of something I've not done. And people would literally would go on for like months straight just to harass me and even by my live streams just 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 to wait until I get like a little melt meltdown or snap. You know, just like just saying something. They would record it without well I mean I know you can do it on YouTube, but still though without my permission really you know, I mean, because they were, like, we wanted to record the whole live stream. I don't get why you want to do that for. And, you know, just basically spreading false rumors. I did this to that person. Or I basically want to bomb this country or something. I mean, you got to understand, like, we have PTSD. You probably would, like, say something that you didn't meant to say. And it's gotten that bad to the point that people would like set up like a little discord it's called like the anti-dan group it was so, so bad from rumors i think daniel told me about this yet again i think someone impersonated as him that um i was disgusted for having a naval fetish you know that explains like how d when i thought he was like 20 at the time um you know showing off showing his belly off or whatever because i don't know it was something private and it maybe feel like I could trust a boy that it's okay with my fetishes and he doesn't bully me, you know, for for it. You know, it's something really private I, I had developed for years to basically tell me that I would never make bank, you know, to help my mother or my brother and that I would be living in the basement or something and copy my face um, that I shared on my social medias into like a baby's body. Um, as a joke, I think it's called a meme or something, right? And basically putting like many cunny emojis as I have like a disgusted look on my face, as I have yellow teeth, making my face deformed, especially based off a, of a YouTube channel called like Special um, Kids. You know, kids are basically, you know, have like deformities or whatever. That's not funny. And they would go on forever. They would tell me, or at least from the screenshots I seen somewhere, it sucks my MacBook doesn't work anymore, my old one. Um, or I would share this because no one probably gonna believe me unless they have proof, right? Basically, they would go out of the way, tell me that we should just prank Dion and basically encourage him to commit suicide. And I still remember one girl from Utah, I think it was in Provo, I still remember that city that she lived in. I don't remember the phone number or anything. Um, you know, the public meeting work. I remembered how she would pretend to be a suicide hauling worker and tell me, go kill yourself. Honestly, I think she should have been, I, I'm not sure if that's right. Like, she should have been in charge to actually encourage someone to end her life, right? Because I had several bullying and impersonating as a, as a suicide hauling worker, who would do that? You know, because I was going through a lot at the time and I remember sharing my phone number online. I know that's a bad idea, but I need, I needed the support somewhere. I know where else to go. And people would literally would impersonate someone else, laugh at me and just hang up or something. I don't know why they would do that. And I, I just, I just been harassed by so many people. I, I, I just, I'm scared of everyone, especially just boys in general. I don't want to be be to the point like, oh my goodness, I hate the male sex. Trust me. There are some things that still triggers me to this day. Just because you're a boy and I'm a boy doesn't mean that you you pressure me to like see your damn penis growing your pants and you were like basically, you know, like beat me up or choke me or something. Sorry, I'm getting bad flashbacks. I am. Okay? I think, well, my cousin, he's the exception for this, but um, I, f I forgot what I was supposed to say. There was a really awful flashback that happened. I don't know who this person was. 
I remember one of my subscribers even wanted to protect him by not t giving me the link of their TikTok, even though I heard that it was shut down. His name was Foofy. He, I don't know how many flowers he has. I don't even want to know. Well, at least right now. The thing is that he would like impersonate my meltdowns and he would get like over a million views on it. 1.1 million. And a lot of people would actually like see me being an emotional train wreck as he gets popular over my mental illness. I don't understand why a human being, he was a man with white long hair, someone told me, I think. I don't understand why someone will go that low on another human being. I just don't understand it. I literally don't. And it just makes me like lose hope and humans I don't know why like I, I'm scared to even leave my house again trust me I was fine a couple of days ago but now like I'm scared to even leave my brother's room I'm, I literally I'm not left in here it's been like probably almost an hour I'm scared like I'm just thinking I'm just going through so much trauma I mean especially what Dee did to me I, I just had to get this off my chest because literally I would have people that would make memes about me telling me that oh like Dion this is an awful person and we should this also happened that they want to sign a petition to get me arrested that's because I said some racial things right by accident I know it was wrong of me and I apologize for it but um they just they enjoy this like oh well, we need to get him arrested still it, it messes me up that People will go out this way to make me a criminal. And, you know, like, I get taken advantage of so easily. I won't even know until the last minute that I can take advantage of. Because I'm scared. I have no one to support me. I have no friends. You know, I mean, hell, I'm mostly at the house all day. I know that's pathetic that a 27 year old me, you know, can't even have a stable job while there's like, Oh my goodness, it's like, it was outside. I thought someone was barging in our house at first. Um, you know, like, literally teens that age that have a house of their own, that basically have, like, kids. You know, I feel like I'm so behind in life because a lot of people want to push me back, and they did. And... Honestly, I can't even go on social media anymore. I'm scared. Literally, I don't want to, like, oh my goodness, get, like, called homophobic slurs. And, you know, a boy just wanted to just be really... I, the reason why I'm saying this is because I had, like, a lot of sexual encounters or harassment with boys, right? Because I'm gay myself. You know? And I think that's why I always get scared. If for any boys that have ever watched this, please don't take it personal. It's just that when you, like, especially, like, like how D acted, it really messes your your brain up completely, you know. And I just had to just get this on my chest because all the cyberbullying, being blackmailed, and even being doxxed, you know. I forgot there's other things I I should have shared, but this before I cut this off, I still remember when I told the police that there was this boy named Ryan Korea. I still remember who he was. I still have pictures of him. That basically is like over six foot. He was Mexican, right? And he lived in Bakersfield, California. I still remembered how he told me that I'll basically beat you up and like smash your head on the pavement. And I went on to cry because like that dude is very tall and he's really intimidating, right? And plus, it's so weird. I think I was doing my trauma. I even had a crush on him. I think it was like 20 something, right? But the thing is, I told the police about what he did as I showed them the, the screenshots. They just told me to get over it and block him. Like, they didn't care that I was going to do trauma. Because cyberbullying is not illegal in my state. In California, and where Ryan's from, it is. And I just thought I can actually just share something extra because people like him that get away with harassing me, they just get, like, a slump on the wrist. Like... You know, they're still getting praise, and who knows, Ryan may have a lot of friends for all the stuff that he did to me, calling me an orangutan, and basically having a friend of his 
harass me on kick and call me virgin boy and call me a faggot and tell me you want to beat me up. Like, that's, uh, like, I'm scared, you know? And I just want to say this. If you feel like a tall boy yourself, just please don't, like, act like that. Or a boy in general. Uh, sorry, this is weird. I, I'm going through a lot of trauma.